I'll start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Kendra. I'm 29. I know you're like probably shocked by this. Um, we follow each other on social media. I know you're from a past episode. For me, the pop balloon was not from here. It's from how I perceived after you came off the episode. I, I work in a very like um, exposed industry. And so like how my partner represents me is really important. And I want someone that's like the kind of like act like you've been there before. And after you came off your episode, it was like all thirst traps. Like I just get the feeling that like you're enjoying the fact that so many women thought you were so attractive because you are on paper, like chef's kiss. But I just need someone who is focused on my admiration and not every woman's admiration. So. Okay. Uh, can I respond You're, to definitely that? Definitely. Go ahead. Yes. Um, I get how it could be seen. I mean, looks can be deceiving, you know? I just love myself unconditionally. So it may be seem like I'm thirst trapping, but I don't comment on anybody who's sending me messages or sending me comments under my pictures. You be pinning those videos, comments, though. Because I think they're funny. At the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, if somebody's giving you affirmations, right, and you think they are good affirmations, that's fine. You know, but my social media is for me. And if my partner had an issue with that, we could talk it out. It ain't that deep for me, for real. Um, I, I feel that. like I'm representing myself well because my last name means a lot to me. Uh, it's a legacy to me, you know? So if it, my partner felt like something was wrong with that, I'd definitely take care of that, for sure. I respect that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yo, yo, what's good? I pray to do to the most high y'all, man. Make sure you guys give your likes to Lord and Savior. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. Now, listen, before we start, I had a good comment that wanted to know, you know what I'm saying, how you keep confidence when yourself, within yourself, you know, serving Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is a confidence, bro. That's just the bottom line with that. Jesus Christ is confidence, dog. Yah is the confidence. You know, you who is the confidence, man. But let's hop straight into it. Here's what happens, or this is what happens. When an attractive guy played the game Now women play the game all the time man A lot of guys aren't aware of the game Even if they look good and they don't play the game But when a guy starts to realize His power Then the game comes with it I always remember something man Whatever leverage you have in this dating game I don't care what it is I don't care if it's your looks I don't care if it's your money I don't care if it's your status I don't care if it's your internal alpha indifference I don't care the point is, when you realize the advantage you have, you start to use it. And this is when women start to show you, you know, who they really are and how they really react when a guy, when she knows the guy understands game. So let's get into this, man. She doesn't like the fact that he knows how good he looks and he uses it to his advantage. See, what you must understand is when a woman understands that she knows like at this point she can see what you post on social media and she sees that this man actually know how good he really looked this man actually has took in that positive reinforcement that he has got you know from women you know from woman after woman after woman and he's avoided the negative ones he didn't even let the negative ones affect him and so when a woman starts to realize you understand how good you look and you using it to your advantage, this is when problems start to occur, guys. Because women want guys who look real good, but when a guy knows it to the heart and he acts that way, women feel repelled because they know that it's not much leeway they can do. They don't have any leverage in those situations. I always remember some guys, when it comes to dealing with a woman long term, when a woman out for short term, she doesn't care. But long term, guys, she needs leverage. And if a woman does not have leverage long term, she's probably not gonna not gonna want to, you know what I'm saying, sack up with you. But let's get into this, man. Number one, she knows women will go above and beyond for him. See, when a woman knows that you look good to the point where women will actively admit they are okay with being side chicks or they are okay with you know what i'm saying being on the back burner while you still deal with your girlfriend see when women know that that's when they like oh, i don't know if i want to deal with this because at that point 
you knowing you 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 probably objectively attracted to a lot of those women in that area because some women just say you know what i gotta do it i gotta do it i got to do it and that's when you'll find out like hey she noticed i'm gonna tell y'all right now man when you look so good to the point where women are willing to be on the back burner when women see this is the thing is how you know you look too good as a man i'm gonna do a video on this too Whenever women are saying, oh, tell that girl you'll call her back. Like, say, for instance, you're on the phone with a girl and she hear your line beeping. It could be your mama calling. It could be your mama. But she's like, hey, tell that girl, you know what I'm saying? Tell underdog, tell that girl you'll call her back. John, tell that girl you'll call her back. That's her subconsciously telling you that, mm, I know he got hoes. That's what she's doing. Her subconscious couldn't even help it. She just had to say it. And to be honest with you, you better not act like you don't. Yeah, I, I remember when a girl just told me that recently And I was like, uh, I think, what did I tell her? I told her that, yeah, but I'm with you tonight, so it don't matter Like, forget them, I'm with you tonight I ain't worried about them That's exactly what I said But the thing is, man, when a woman knows that women go above and beyond And they trying to compete and get to that place with you That's how you know when a woman is probably going to be very insecure about that And she's probably not going to want to deal with you but women who actually want to, you know what I'm saying, compete and show that they really hurt, I ain't got no problem with it. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, they want you to just focus on their needs and them. Even while they don't do it to you. And that is just not going to be the case, fellas. It's not. It's not. Play the game, man. Play that game. I ain't saying you got to sit here and get on social media and post a damn picture where you in the bathtub with a damn leap over your junk. But what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? Here and there, post a physique picture. Here and there, post you working out, lifting weights. Here and there, post you having the sauce, you dripped out. Hey, a woman that think a thirst trap is me posting me with the sauce. Me in front of my car clean. They'll think that's a thirst trap because they understand that their thirst traps are completely different from ours. A woman can look at a man fully clothed and get turned on. For as in reality, you know, there are some women that just got that hourglass figure and a man can look at him and get very aroused. It's just like that. In some cases, when a woman has a body so good, that can happen, you know, a lot of times. But most of the cases, guys, women understand that men go crazy when they actually can see some skin. When they can actually see some, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? When they can actually see that, oh yeah, men about to go, oh baby, I drink your bath water. Oh, let me, how much it costs? You know what I'm saying? They gonna be saying all that type of stuff. But when a woman see a man dressed clean with so much oil, oh my gosh, I want to get to know him. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. Now, granted, I will say this. When I post some physique pictures, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm being very honest. I'm not proud of it, but I'm just telling you guys the truth. You guys have seen on my TikTok, I've showed you how I get hearts, 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 hearts. And one, in one particular scenario, guys, I remember I was in a little drought, just a little drought, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? Let me cut first and then worry about women later. When I started to cut down and I posted my body, I got a girl over my crib that week. I'm not even lying to you guys. I posted on my Facebook story. That chick was over my crib. She hard on my picture. I mean, hard on my story. I slid up, and it was that. But, guys, women can just catch. They can catch it. You know what I'm saying? They, they vagina can go crazy just from them seeing the aura on you. You you like my pictures, man. I got so much sauce in my pictures online, a woman to get turned on by that, a woman to get physically aroused by that. And I ain't trying to, uh, I ain't trying to show my print. I ain't trying to do none of that. But meanwhile, most women gonna have to show that booty cheeks. You know what I'm saying? They gonna show their ass. They gonna show their ass. They gonna show them doing something very, very scandalous in order to get a man aroused. All women do this. To be honest, I hate to say all women, but so many of these damn women I can't stop. Most women that I know, most women that I have met in my life, I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, some of y'all be like, oh, she's a slut then. I mean, granted, all of them are, but even certain women that I've met that have shown very good girlfriend qualities, even they somehow in their pictures make it scandalous. Even envy somehow they make it enticing. So to my extent, I'm gonna just be real with you guys. All women do this. I don't care if they're good or bad. All women do this, man. But 
once a woman understands that you know what I'm saying, um, women go above and beyond for a man with that aura, that's when she's gonna start to have problems with that. Next is that when you have the sauce, many women won't be able to handle it. Many women don't like it when a man has a sauce. A woman can see my Instagram right now and look, oh no, he probably got too many hoes. Uh, oh no, I ain't got time for this, he look too cocky, oh no. And they ain't never met me a day in their life. They ain't never met me. Never met me a day in my life. So just like some women get on my TikTok, oh, he hate women, he must be gay. That's how bad they assume things, man. A woman can look at me clean in that trench coat, all dapper, you know what I'm saying? And they'll be saying, you know what? I don't wanna deal with him. I feel like he think too much of himself. And the whole time, I'm the most humblest guy you ever met in your life. That's what it is. When they just see that a man got a sauce, when they can just look at the aura, they like, you know what, I don't even want him. He think he too much. This is how they think, y'all. This is what it is and what it ain't. And last, man, she wants you to only pay attention to her while she pays attention to all those other guys and get validation. You see, women want you to be focused on them. They want you to do all this. They want to whisper this deceitful, this deceitful tone in your ear and make you believe that if you just focus on her, that she will have a very good relationship with you that, that couldn't be farther from the truth In reality guys When a woman is dating a guy that's that handsome That attractive She wants to feel like she caught him She does not want that man to be acting all like that With her guys Every chick that I've ever dealt with in my life That has showed me 10 out of 10 in the rest And I started to act like I really wanted her As much as she wanted me Man them chicks was gone But when I acted like I was just so high in might and I was just so above ab above her. But that woman couldn't get enough of me because that's how she wanted me to act in the first place. So understand that, man. That's all a trick. That's all a trick, bro. I ain't saying you got to sit there and, and be, you know what I'm saying, sleeping around with thousands of women. But no, I'm saying like, at the end of the day, just make sure you act as if you're on a hiatus, which you are compared to her. Make sure you guys like this video, man. I'm out.